In this video, I'm going to react to three beautiful websites for your inspiration and one of these is just... Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the Digital Alchemist and let's start with website number one. So the first website we are going to review is called Senep and look at this finger because you're going to see it again in this video. So let's start scrolling and right off the bat, I love that color shift. I mean, I love that. Look at this. Look at this. And by the way, you can do this with a script called Scroll Magic. So it's scrollmagic.io and let me show you the demo so as I scroll I can change the color so you can totally do this let's say you're using WordPress in Elementor for example you can totally do this okay back to the website and now let's start scrolling and yeah the color shift is great and you can see all these subtle animations and by the way this is one of the trends for 2021 and probably beyond because it's been there for a couple of years and my guess is that it's gonna stay a little longer so let's keep on scrolling and it said say hello so let's say hello let's see what do we have here look at this and if i click it says copied i don't have to do what we all do which is this and then Control c and command c because we're lazy right <laughs> okay so that's great so let's take a look at the navigation now okay very simple only three pages on this website very minimalist well not three pages because as you can see here we got a contact then newsletter and probably more pages but it looks really great. So let's check the about us page. So we're designers, engineers, and blemproversal, and that's <laughs> that's nice. Oh, okay, let let me refresh the page. Check this. So blemproversal, and you're like what? And then oh, problem solvers. So they got your attention now. I love that, and the finger really helps. Okay, let's start scrolling, and as you can see, we got nice graphics. And once again, here we got the color shift. But basically, I really like what they did. Now, look at this. Let's click. I like that. Okay, now let's click on Matt Rice. And as you can see, they got really dedicated graphics for each person in the team. And that really adds that little detail, you know, that makes the separation between the pros and the real pros and the A players. I really, I really dig that. Okay, so far, so good. But let's take a look at the mobile version because as you may know, mobile traffic is now bigger than desktop traffic. Okay, so is this going to be a cheap version of the desktop version? Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. So let's refresh this page. And right off the bat, we still have the finger and I'm quite happy because I was afraid it wasn't gonna make it to the mobile version. So we still have our color shift, which I still love. And for the rest, I guess it's the same experience as on the desktop. Maybe I would have liked that, you know, they would have used a vertical format to do something a bit different, but hey, it looks like the desktop version. It looks good. So, so far, so good. Now let's take a look at one of the pages. For example, let's click here on Lumi. Yeah, I really like the style they use on the website. So this page is totally blue, as you can see the color scheme. And my guess is that they keep different colors for different case studies so really nice now let's open the navigation and we're back to the bright yellow so we still have our three items i like the little animation here on the navicon so let me go all the way back up and as you can see the little animation here i think it's really nice and don't forget you can use scrollmagic.io if you want to change the color dynamically as you scroll but not only for that so let me show you you got this effect here with images as you scroll you get draw svg as you scroll so as i scroll down and up it's gonna shift and change then we got the transform css so basically it's a nice little plugin that you can get on code canyon or if you don't need the wordpress plugin and you just need the script you can download it from their website just go to download and download the zip free of charge okay for the next website make sure you are actually sitting on a chair and I mean that. Whoa. Look at this. So use your arrow keys to move around. Yeah. And then we get the <laughs> we get the menu here. Shift is going to boost the car, then we get space to break, empty mute, we got the honk and everything. Okay. So let me show you. So the website is the website of a designer slash developer slash genius called Bruno Simon. So he's a creative and a dev. He's like a full stack. Oh man. 
so i'm not playing the sound but usually you hear the the engine I mean, this thing is just amazing so first of all you had a playground so you know it doesn't do anything but hey if you want to have some fun yeehee ouch i missed that one like lose you think i can make it okay let's try one more time let's go yes i did it completely ruined the car but i did it okay let's be serious for a moment so let's go and check some of the projects if i make it alive with this car okay so this is amazing look at this so he's going to showcase each project in 3d like this and if you want to open the project you just tap and hit enter and it's going to open a new page which i'm not going to check now so let's take a look at some of what he did Charton Taillé and by the way Bruno Simon is French and man he's so talented so we get Zenly and look at this the distinction so this is the award side of the day which I just bumped into you get the FWA side of the day and then you get CSS design side of the day okay I can't really hit this one I got it we hit it we got prior holdings and look at this some more awards fwa and css design awards so this is a very talented designer slash developer then we got citrix red bull so big names in the industry and some more awards i mean this is just amazing so let me pause the video for a moment so at this stage if you feel completely depressed by looking at this website and you saying to yourself well, I thought I was a web designer or a web developer before I saw this. But how does it work on a mobile? There must be some fault somewhere. There must be. Okay, so let's try. Start. Okay, and actually look at this. It looks like a video game. Well, it did also on the desktop, but look here. I got the joystick. I can, you know, turn the wheels. And, you know, I can just tap here. So let me show you. I'm just going to use the arrows because basically I'm just pretending... I'm on a mobile, but I'm on the mobile inspector of the Chrome browser. It's actually funny when you try it on a real mobile, you know, playing with your fingers, tapping the screen. I mean, it's so gamified. And yeah, of course, that was the purpose. And I know what you're going to say, because I can hear some of you. I can actually hear some of you. Yeah, really. Like you're saying, yeah, this is not a real website. This is more like a video game, yada, yada, yada. True. But it's so beautiful. That's the truth. Just imagine if you want to get hired and your portfolio is like this. Do you seriously think you will ever be out of a job? I don't think so. But hey, don't be discouraged. I know how you feel. You know, I just opened the website and I was like, man, I thought I was good. But if you want to become a better web designer or web developer, you may as well look at the best ones. And have you seen this? So the farther you get, the blurrier it gets. So that's that's so funny. That's just nothing short of amazing. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So this is the portfolio. And as I show you, you just go onto this big box and then you tap enter to open. And this is actually the third website we're going to review today. Okay, so let's type on enter. Okay, there we go. So Zenly and right off the bat, I love that animation. So it says, your map, your people. Zenly is a live map of your friends and family. It's the most fun way to meet up. So this could be cool. Although, you know, you may not want to be tracked all the time, but let's take a look. So scroll to explore as it says here at the bottom. I like that. Okay, so first of all, the animation was really nice and the transition also. And once again, it feels more like I'm in a video game, but at the same time, it's making me curious about this app. And then once you scroll, you get this animation here. So it's going to show you, it's going to demonstrate what the app does. So, you know, before you download the app, you know if it's this, this is something you would like to get or not. And you see all the features. So I like that. So let's start scrolling again. Another transition. And now it says more time together when you're trying to figure out what to do for the night or just want to see who's nearby, yada, yada, yada. Basically, it's really putting you in the mood of, okay, you want to chill out and you need to find some of your peeps to do it. Okay, so let's scroll. And once again, this is going to demonstrate how the app is going to work on your phone. So if you're not convinced yet, it's going to show you some more awesomeness. Look at this. We really changed the scene and the color scheme is different. 
everyday heroes. So here to talk about how professionals like firemen and taxi drivers, but also NGO use their app. Okay, so let's take a look. How does it work on the app? And something you may not have noticed because the hand moves, but it's actually following the movement of the mouse. So if I put the mouse on the right, goes right and left goes left. Okay, let's go to the next one. So another use case, if you haven't been convinced yet. You know, at this stage, honestly, I don't need that app, but I want it. <laughs> so you see how web design and development can really make a difference. Okay, but how does it look like on the mobile? Okay, so you probably think that it looks like what you're seeing on the screen, but this is where I'm slightly confused here because it really looks like it's responsive. So let me scroll. And as you can see, it works well on the mobile. But the thing is, let me refresh the page because here I'm just simulating the mobile version. As you can see partially here on the top right of the mobile screen, there's actually a prompt asking me to open this website on the App Store. So either uh, the Google App Store or the Apple App Store. So there's no way you can actually view this website on a mobile unless you did as I did. So I was watching the website in full screen on the desktop and then I just simulated the mobile version with the Chrome inspector. So that's really a shame. Why Zenly? Why? Why? But all in all, a beautiful website that really wants to make you download that app. Now, which one of the three is your favorite one? Please let me know down in the comments because I really want to know. I have my own ID, but please let me know which one you prefer and why. Because that's the most important, why? How would you use this type of website? In the next episode, I'm probably going to review some more traditional websites. Or will I? Well, I guess you'll have to find out. So I'll see you in the next one, but don't forget, I'm trying to build the content I wish I had when I got started. So if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, take care and stay safe.